Tiger King memes have taken over social media, and frankly, I'm not mad about it because I'm sick of Baby Yoda. Tiger King is a Netflix documentary series about people who keep big cats in captivity and the drama and crimes that surround their lives. But the cast of Tiger King is coming out on social media to say that Netflix got a lot of things wrong or they conveniently left out information to fit their narrative. I'm gonna tell you what Netflix left out here on IO. What's gravy y'all, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Welcome back to another IO video. On this channel, we talk about trending topics, we keep you entertained with tea spilling top tens and we annoy you with our jokes. Sorry, not sorry. At least I'm honest about it. <laughs> Subscribe for a different take on the news and follow the IO team on social media so we can connect outside of YouTube. I, like many of you, burned through Tiger King in like maybe one or two sittings. And that's not very hard right now. Number one, we're all really bored and we have nothing to do. And number two, it was a genuinely really fascinating documentary. Like, I loved it. Cat people are out of their minds. I always thought that, but now it's just confirmed it. <laughs> big cat people, big cat people, don't come for me. But even though the story was already fascinating enough to begin with, Netflix actually left out a lot of things that are only now coming to light. For those that haven't seen the series, it's about a former zoo owner called Joe Exotic, who ran the GW Zoo. Joe Exotic is currently spending the next 22 years in prison for several counts of animal abuse and for a murder for hire plot against his rival, Carol Baskin. Highly recommend you watch Tiger King before you watch this video, just so you know. Let's start things off with the fourth husband. Yes, Joe Exotic managed to get not three, but four men who identified as straight to marry him. Before his first husband, Brian, Joe was married to another man for a short period of time named Hart Pence. There isn't that much info available about this man, but what we do know is that he's currently in prison serving time for a murder he committed after he and Joe Exotic divorced. Now why don't we talk about Carol Baskin's restraining order the other restraining order. We know that Carol Baskin's first husband disappeared in August of 1997, two months after filing a restraining order against Carol Baskin. One of the most interesting theories about Carol Baskin's husband's disappearance is that she fed his body to the tigers and that's why there's no evidence. She remarried to the man featured in the documentary, Howard Baskin. But what Netflix didn't tell you is that she had another boyfriend, Jay Bakel, who also, get this, filed a restraining order against her because he was fearful of his life. He said that he had two conversations with Carol that led him to believe that she had murdered her first husband and that's why he wanted a restraining order. I don't know what it is about Carol, but she's, she's kind of scary, man. That that woman is is, is f***ed up. She didn't display like any emotion when she was talking about her dead husband at all or how he was murdered. Like to me, whenever you watch these true crime documentaries and you're talking about the people who had lost their loved ones, they just like, they can't keep it together. But Carol was like smiling and like just being very like nonchalant about it. Like, I don't know, it just, it rubbed me the wrong way. I, was, I wasn't a fan. Carol. Carol! Next up, let's talk about the fire. The big fire that took place at Joe Exotic Zoo. You know, the one that destroyed hours of compromising footage for the reality series about Joe Exotic. According to Robert Moore, who was researching it for a podcast, he reached out to police officers in charge of the case. Pretty standard journalism work. But the next day, he got an angry call from Joe Exotic. How did Joe Exotic even know that Robert Moore was digging into his past? Well, it turns out that the police officer who was in charge of that case, the fire case, also turned out to be the limo driver for Joe Exotic's zoo. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. But there's a connection. One last thing that I thought I would point out is that the cast of Tiger King are actually quite unhappy with how the series turned out. Most of them. Carol Baskin said she was misled into believing that the documentary series was supposed to be like a big cat version of Blackfish. Doc Antle is also very disappointed in how he was portrayed. He said so in a now deleted tweet. He responded to the allegations that he does not treat animals well by saying, we are very disappointed that our facility was mentioned in the new Netflix series. We can only assume it is because Doc Antle has been such a high profile wildlife personality for so many decades that his association would create more buzz. 10 bucks says that Doc wrote that, <laughs> 10 bucks. Adding, we have never had a USDA violation and work collaboratively with various state and federal wildlife agencies to ensure our animals receive the very best life each and every day. In response to the criticism from the cast, the directors of the series, Eric Good and Rebecca Chaiklin, said that the documentary evolved as the story continued to unfold. Carol Baskin wasn't coerced into talking about her personal life or backstory on camera. Joe Exotic, however, loves how the documentary turned out. Even though it doesn't exist exactly portray him in the best light. The series got Joe Exotic the fame that he always wanted, even though he's enjoying it from prison. <laughs> one last fact, just I know I said that before, but one last fact that I thought I would let you guys know about that I know that you won't be able to sleep at night unless I tell you. John Finlay, Joe Exotic's former husband, 
Yeah, the one with the teeth? Well, he wants everyone to know that he got his teeth fixed. He posted a photo on his Facebook page, The Truth About John Finlay. Yes, I've had my teeth fixed. The producers of the Netflix series had videos and pictures of this, but chose not to show it. It's all about the ratings for them, not the people they hurt. I mean, he looks good. Those teeth, they look great. Well guys, there you have it. Why don't you tell me down below all your favorite theories about Tiger King, as well as what you thought of the series. For now, I'm gonna respond to some of your comments. It's just Kendra said, Potato Queen, I'm going to be in quarantine for my birthday. Can I get a shout out for my quarantine birthday? Happy quarantined birthday. I hope it's a great one. It, you'll definitely remember it forever. <laughs> Rebecca Becca said, say the F home. Preach girl, this is why I love Charlotte. She tells you how it is. Yeah, I do, don't I? I do. I feel like that might get me in trouble at some point, but I mean, might as well just be honest. Ella now said, honestly, who needs to go out when there's new IO videos daily? I go out only to get food. Thank you for helping people stay at home IO team. Well, you are very welcome. Also, don't forget to take out the garbage and check your mail. Those are all important things that you need to be doing, but wear, you know, protection, wash your hands. Anyways, guys, I sincerely hope you are all safe and healthy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next time.